All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is uh, Anthony Smoke. And check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Definitely subscribe to me uh, on YouTube if you like business intelligence tips. So today, back in Tableau, I've got this dashboard. And it's a uh, dashboard of NBA points scored by team. So, um, you know, we can take a look. If I look at Cleveland at the power forward position, you can see that Cleveland scored 3,097 points at the power forward position. And LeBron James uh, scored 73% uh, of those points, right? And so, you know, I can filter this. You know, I can change it to Western teams. If I go over here to Houston, right, I can see that uh, James Harden scored about 55% of the points scored at the shooting guard position. Uh, shout out to RJ Hunter, uh, Georgia State uh, University. So uh, how do we put together something uh, like this? So this dashboard incorporates a technique uh, accredited to Matt Chambers on his Sir Vizalot blog. And I think it's a great technique to illustrate how the new set actions can work in Tableau to, to highlight rows and columns. So definite shout out to Matt Chambers for putting this out here for the Tableau community. And I'll have a link back to his post on my blog. So how do we put together something like this? I'm not going to cover every little formatting uh, tweak for the dashboard, but I'll get you up and running uh, and acquainted with this technique. So so let's uh, let's let's get started here. How do we do that? So I'm going to start with a blank uh, uh, version here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag team to rows. This is my NBA uh, data set for the 2017 season. And I'm going to drag position to columns, right? For your data, you know, you're going to need two dimensions. You're going to need a measure, right? And our measure is going to be uh, points, total points uh, by team. And I'm going to put that on the text here so that that fills in uh, uh, nicely. And so I want to drag conference up here to, to filters. And yeah, we'll just go with East for now. That's that's fine. And then I can I can show this if I want. Great. And uh, let's create this calculation called Min. Whoops. Min one. Right. And let's expand this to the entire view. And what I want to do, we need to we need to edit the axis here. Make this fixed and make the fixed end one. Right. And that expands uh, everything out. Great. I don't need to see this anymore, so we can get rid of it. Now I'm going to go in here to the label. And let's make our alignment right here in the middle. Right? Good deal. And, you know, we can, we can do some formatting here. So let's format. I want to get rid of, so on the sheet, I don't want the, uh, the row divider. So let's say none. Right, um, right. That gets rid of that up up top, and then for the columns, nope. For the for the rows, yeah. Let's let's get rid of yeah. So I said none there. So that's great. So now let's go to size, and we can size this. You know, um, you know, your mileage may vary on how you want this to look, uh, but we, you know, we can we can keep it like that. That's that's absolutely fine. Uh, just one last thing here on our uh, not shading. Want to make sure that our uh, our column uh, divider in the pane is white. Here we go. So make it white. Make it pop uh, a little bit more. So there we go. We got some some uh, some formatting uh, out of the way, and we've done the uh, the alignment here. Um, all right, we've done entire view. So now let's uh, let's create a set, right? So you know this works off of uh, sets. So let's create a set off of positions. So we're going to uh, create a uh, a set right here, and let's since we want to isolate on Cleveland, let's go uh, uh, power forward. I'm sorry, we want to isolate on LeBron, so we'll go power forward, and we can call this um, uh, position set. That's fine, and we're going to create one for team as well so we'll go ahead and set and let's pick Cleveland and let's name this um, team set for lack of better descriptor say okay now we're gonna select both of these I'm gonna hold down control to select both of these and I'm gonna bring these up to color and lo and behold I get this garish uh, output here but but this actually uh, means something so in our set we selected 
uh, this intersection, right? I selected power forward and then I selected Cleveland. So if you take a look at what's going on over here, this mark is in both sets. So it gets an N in. This mark is in the, uh, uh, this is in the position set, but it's not in the team set. So it gets this color, right? Uh, these marks right here, this orange, um, it is in the team set, but is out of the position set. So you get this color, and the rest of these are out of both sets. So that's how the, the colors work here. And then we can change these to make it a little bit more aesthetically uh, pleasing. So for my NN, right, let's just change this to, and, uh, you know, bonus points if you have these things uh, memorized. We'll go B3, B7. Uh, B8 again you can pick whatever whatever colors you want I just like a little custom colors here um, and then for for this guy right here let's go 066 six, a f f right and for out in same thing 066 six, uh, a f f right gotta love your hex and then we're gonna go here and we're going to go 0, 5, 4, CBE. Give me a nice rich blue there. If I say apply, boom, I've got this, this kind of um, uh, spread here on, on my colors. All right. Um, all right. So my NN, nope, you know what? I did that backwards. Let's, uh, let's, let's change that up here. So on out, 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 out. I want out out to be gray. So we're going to go B3, B7, B8. All right. And then for uh, NN, yeah, got that a little backwards here. We're going to go 054 CBE. Again, you can, whoops, let's try that again. Uh, 054 CBE. Again, you can use whatever colors you like. Let's try that. There we go. Now I got that uh, that demarcation here. The grays aren't selected. Um, what I my intersection is a deep blue, and everything else is uh, a lighter shade of blue. So we've got that going. Yay! We've got to this point. So how do we continue? We're gonna you're gonna create a dashboard, right? And I'm gonna drag in two horizontals. Let's drag in one here and uh, yeah, one here. That's fine. And I can bring in my cross highlight sheet. Great. Um, and then let's, I don't need this. Let's get rid of that. And for now, let's just, just drag this in here. That's great. We'll do this, something like that. And I want to make this, um, I don't like fixed size. I like automatic so it spreads out, right? So we've got that going for us. And so great, we've got these highlighted. As you can see, um, we chose the values in our set. And so that's why these are highlighted. And so now it's time to use Tableau's new set actions. So if I go in here to dashboard, go to actions, we're going to create two set actions here on hover. So you're going to change set values. And this is going to be the, we'll call this the team um, set action. That's fine. Uh, we're going to select that on hover. This is my only uh, data set. And this is the team set. And clearing the selection will uh, keep set values. Let's do that. And let's add another action. Uh, change set values. And again, it's my only data set. And this is going to be position. We're going to call this position set action. Right? And on hover, we'll keep the set values. Say OK. All right, and so what do we got? Are we got movement here? There we go. We've got movement now. And that is basically how you set that up. What we can do now, we can go in here and uh, on the tool tip, right? I'm going to get rid of all this. And I have, uh, I pre created a tool tip uh, sheet. So we're going to insert the sheet for tool tip. Say OK. And that's how I get my, my tooltip in here. So let's take a look at that really quick. I'm not going to go through how to create this. This is very simple. I just drag the player name and I drag their sum of points up here. I did a little table calculation so I can get the percentage uh, of that player for that for that position, right? So on the detail, I dragged in both of my uh, my dimensions and then a table calc here. 
and you know just change the uh, you know brought the sum of points to color very simple and the beauty is when you bring it into your dashboard it will filter down to just the uh, the players at the intersection so point guards on Chicago Chris Dunn uh, Jerry and Grant uh, you know we can go out here I can bring in everything here now if I clear this Go out to the west. There we go. We get our intersection back. Chris Paul, 92% of uh, points scored uh, for Houston at the point guard position. So, again, this is a again this is a great technique uh, brought to you by uh, Matt Chambers. This is his technique. I just wanted to use it with some NBA data and walk you through step by step how you would create something uh, like this. Obviously, you can take it to the next level and and put it into fancy dashboard. Uh, you can put the NBA logo and and some things in here. But but this is basically uh, how you accomplish this. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this video take this tip get out there do some great things with your data thanks for watching everyone